Hey everyone, have we got a show for you. We will touch on Sparks, um, yes, but we are going to be casting a wider net on this one. Um, call it a discussion of rock and roll between a baby boomer, my mother, and her Gen X and millennial progeny. Enjoy. All I do now is stick around. All I do now is stick around, dick around. Okay, welcome to Dickin' Around, a show about sparks. A uh, special edition. This is a PG version of Dickin' Around. And why? Because I'm seated across. I'm seated across. Is that the right word? Seated? Seated across from my mommy, <laughs> Bonnie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so I, uh, we're not going to drop any F-bombs on this one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your mouth, Grandma. <laughs> Um, Palm oil soap <laughs> in the mouth. Who else do we have with us? Identify yourselves. My name is Jill. Are you related to me? I am Ted's younger sister. Nice. My name is Heather, and I'm Jill's oldest daughter. Yes, and my niece. I am Devin, and I am not blood related to the family at all, but I am Heather's husband. Nice. And I'm Marcy. Ted's oldest sister. And why why are we all convened today? Could it be someone's 50th birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ow. May yeah. you live a hundred years. Yeah. May uh, you drink a hundred beers. Oh, I've, uh, that's, that's already been taken care of. <laughs> Today? <laughs> In the last two hours? <laughs> All right. Uh, pause for a second while I go to settings so that my phone doesn't start, uh, doesn't turn off. I have to see my notes. This is just a pill back behind the curtains. This is uh, backstage. Edit yeah. This out. yeah. Or keep it in. Whatever. Because we're, that's what she said. We're <laughs> <laughs> now you have to keep it in. <laughs> that is why Devin is accepted in our family. <laughs> he fits right in. Um, that's what she I said. Knew, knew, <laughs> she fits right in. I knew when you were twerking in my kitchen with Heather. Never. Okay. <laughs> now I can see my other note, my notes, and the phone won't turn off. Okay, Mom. Yes. You and Dad uh, get married in '64. That's correct. September 2nd. September, so that's not even a year after Kennedy. That is correct. It yeah. was a year after we met. We met just after Kennedy was assassinated. Oh, my God. Hmm? Okay. Where were you when you learned of the assassination? I got off the bus. I had been at school at the University at, of Utah. Okay. I was going down to work on my bus got off the bus, and walked past a newsstand. And there was a picture of President Kennedy and Jackie uh -huh. somewhere probably coming out of the White House. Uh -huh. And I stopped, and I looked, and I thought, what a beautiful thing that we have such a handsome couple in the White House yeah. to be proud of. Camelot. Camelot, yeah. yeah. And then I walked in and uh, rode the elevator upstairs to work. And as I walked into work, they said, have you heard the news? Oh. President Kennedy has been assassinated. And of course, the whole office was crying. Oh. And when I uh, left and went home, I got my car. And I remember driving down 
Main Street and looking over to the car that was on my right, and the driver was crying, <sighs> just like all of us. Man. The whole nation, it was devastating. Yeah. So that turned everything upside down. Yes, yes. Yeah. The 60s, the 1960s just went down from there. Mm-hmm. I'll bring a little levity to it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what we like. A little. I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring a little levity <laughs> off really to dark. Uh, <laughs> the assassination. Okay. Uh, the e- Emo Phillips joke. Anyone? No. What's that? Okay. People always are asking me. Where was I when Kennedy was shot? Well, I don't have an alibi. (laughs) (laughs) So you and dad are at University of Utah at the time. Yes. A few months later, uh, Beatles on Sullivan. Beatles were just coming into the United States at at a... About the same time, and they're they're on your time. radar. Oh in, yes, in, in Salt Lake City. It's oh it, yes, yeah. and I remember watching them with Ed, Ed Sullivan uh, live. My friend Ed Sullivan. Oh mm-hmm. man, screaming with the rest of the gang. Okay, so everything's buttoned up, suit and tied, crew cut. Um, you know, uh, clean shaven. Um, women in their poodles skirts mm-hmm. just 1962 the just and then and then the like overnight mm-hmm. uh w- when's the first time you saw someone with uh, a, a guy with hair grown out that didn't happen until after uh, towards the end of the 60s ted because oh, okay. we had the the vietnam war yeah and and that turned the culture around. Yeah, that's when you started seeing the the other side, the anti culture, or what, what uh, do you call it? counterculture? Counterculture. Counterculture. The hate Ashbury in San Francisco. Uh-huh. The hippies. The um, what was the what was the big concert that they went? Uh, Woodstock. Went, Woodstock. Woodstock. Yeah. That was all over the Vietnam War. Now that yeah. didn't happen until uh, after Kennedy. And and uh, the war escalated, and President Johnson sent more and more troops in, and then it got into Nixon trying to get out of that awful, awful war and the anti-war movement. Then we started seeing. The- so, um, so when you're graduating college, that's '66, mm-hmm. and it's still pretty clean cut, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, no protests yet. Not nothing. yet. And then, and then the way you explain it is, you got busy having kids with us, and kind of, kind of were separated from the counterculture, the yes. sexual revolution, yes. um, the Vietnam protests. Mm-hmm. You were working on mm-hmm. building a family. Family. We yeah. were starting our family. Yeah. So what? What I? What we saw was on TV, and but it was a. Our life was different. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mom, one of my earliest memories of music is Helen Reddy. Yes. I. I think I'm. I. I might have been crawling when uh, when I was hearing. You and me against the world. No, you were a little older. You were probably four. Four? Four. Marcy? Big old ruby red dress. Walking down the street. Gary (laughs) Foster. Yeah. Um, Helen Reddy was a favorite, and so I played. So so what what turned you on to Helen Reddy? Well, it was a woman's movement. She was strong into that, and I liked her voice, and I loved her her, uh, lyrics. So uh, uh, I I know you to be um, somewhat critical of feminism, as am I. Um, More like in the realm of politics and academia but mm-hmm. in art uh, i know. i love powerful women yes and i love i am woman by helen reddy mm-hmm. yeah 
And yeah. yes, she should. Mary Tyler Moore. Yes. Uh, and a thousand other things and yet, that I can't think of. Helen Reddy could be very tender. Yes. Like you and me against the world. You and me that against the world. That was a song to her. She sang to her son. Oh yeah. When he was about your age. And so I related to that. And who wrote that song? I think her, was it her husband or she wrote it paul williams oh paul williams yeah i've been on a paul williams kick <clears throat> um and i wasn't too surprised to find out that he's behind a lot of the music that i love from the 70s yeah. we've only just begun to live can i get can i get a backing yes. course White space in promises. <laughs> we just Did you know? Um, like um, he was written off as dead, and he he's back. He is oh. killing it. Yeah. Do you know a, a a show called Goliath? Indeed. Indeed. He is in season two of Goliath. Spoiler alerts: He plays a lawyer who is is at the execution of his client, and he he's sobbing as his client is dying. And I I cried for the first time in since Titanic. Yes, I cried. <laughs> yes, I cried when I Don't watched. Let go, Titan Jack. <laughs> I did Titanic too, and <laughs> I vowed didn't? I'd never see it again because so uh, too much I, no me. Paul Williams. He's brilliant. <laughs> he's he's brilliant. Uh, Rainbow Connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the soundtrack of Bugsy Malone. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> yes. I don't know. Go for I it. No, no, no. <laughs> Love that. Is Tallulah. So, I live till I die. <laughs> so, um, let me. Uh, w uh, a famous moment in television is Johnny Carson, and Johnny Carson has no. He, he knows that he's got Paul Williams coming out to croon a song, and he has no idea that Paul Williams is going to come out decked in his planet of the ape costume and makeup <laughs> did did you see that live i saw it live with your oh father. my god I'll never forget it we were rolling <laughs> we were rolling on the couch <laughs> one of the funniest moments in television history He's like, he sits down next to a table he takes a it's little a sip <laughs> and he takes a toke off the cigarette <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh other um rock and roll from my oh oh so unhip mother but not so much uh uh, uh frankie valley in the four seasons yep. yeah yep. and you've been trying to get me out to jersey boys. jersey boys because of your love for that one song when you were about Seven and played it over and over. Oh, what a night! Late December, back in '63. I I used to sit in front of my chest of drawers with my transistor radio on top, and I I tried to will the uh, radio station to play the song, <laughs> and <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then, <laughs> and then, and then um, you know, they play it every half hour. So, so um, you know, I I thought, yeah, I'm making that happen. God's will. <laughs> I, I believe that radio was painted red. Yes. Or was it blue? Oh, the chest of drawers, yes. uh, red and blue. Yeah. Yeah, Captain America. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, um, but that that's another great example of pre-64, post-64. Mm -hmm. If you look at Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons back 
when they were doo wop, they're all clean cut and, and shaved. And then look, <laughs> just look at the uh, December nineteen sixty three video. They're they're all hippied out. They're they've got beards. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay. Um, the next rock and roll I remember mom being into. Saturday Night Fever. Oh, yeah. that is after we moved to California. I, yes. Yes, I obsessed on that one for quite a while. I signed Marcy up for some dance lessons so she could learn. Yes, <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Let me tell you about that. Okay, she wanted me to take this and she bribed me with the ditto pants. <laughs> <laughs> remember the ditto pants? Yes, I do. They had a rainbow on the butt. And you told me I could choose... Whatever color I wanted, if I learned how to dance like John Travolta. And I tried with all my might. <laughs> you gave it a good Everything drug. in me. Everything in me I tried. But I got my dittos out. Nice. Yes. Do the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's campy. But if I was stranded on the proverbial island, I would want that soundtrack with me i would yeah i would choose that set yes and uh you're not talking about chorus line oh i course. obsessed on chorus line i'll take some like, of that too yeah tits and ass uh i have a story about that i would <laughs> like to share okay <laughs> i was running a daycare center from our home as you well know had lots of children running around parents coming going had a nice, clean, clean image, but I was obsessed with Chorus Line. I decided that I would never pass up a chance to see Chorus Line for the rest of my life. And, of course, I played the soundtrack over and over and over. And so one day I had several parents in my family room picking up their children, and my four-year-old son, <laughs> Peter, came walking down the hall singing tits and ass <laughs> get yourself a derriere <laughs> it's a derriere in the nose no, with it all oh, the nose goes with it, it. <laughs> it's a blast, blast. <laughs> sang the whole song as he's coming down the hall the birth of a healthy male sex drive <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's where we segue. <laughs> segue away. Okay. Into the mother son confrontation. <gasps> I can't remember. <laughs> mother son come. 1977. He has a date. <laughs> we move from Illinois to California. I'm unpacking my records. <laughs> Sean Cassidy? Check. <laughs> Bay City Rollers? Check. <laughs> Carpenters? Check. Elton John? Check. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's my KISS records? <laughs> your dad <laughs> my what <laughs> dad got rid of the kiss records how got did a seven-year-old have kiss records in the <laughs> yeah. first place yeah. right <laughs> you were seven in 1977 no he was nine i was nine, nine. that's better <laughs> my hero was gene simmons <laughs> Um, I didn't know that they played bad music. I didn't know there were. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes. And then you told me that Kiss stood for Knights in Satan's Service. (laughs) That's right. Mom did? (laughs) Someone told me that. (laughs) I, I would have preferred for you to say, uh, you know, this, this isn't that good um um let me get one of your aunts to turn you on to led zeppelin and cream and the who (laughs) (laughs) 
boil well, down to that. Uh, yeah, uh, Ted, um, these, <laughs> these guys are uh, all gimmick mm-hmm. and no talent. <laughs> Uh, but you you did the shorthand kiss stands for night and satan service <laughs> Sorry. when when i was afraid of getting demon possessed <laughs> <laughs> what year did dad take you to- i didn't see the exorcist until way uh, way into jaws. my teens it was Why are jaws? You uh, jaws, jaws jaws yeah Ex- exorcist jenny our babysitter um told us about the exorcist scene by scene but we didn't see it till till later but it was still the the most scariest movie i never saw that had the attic and i freaked all of you out because and i don't sleep on my back to this day because i don't want to levitate off the bed When I saw it, I couldn't sleep, and I had to say over and over in my mind, I'm sorry for watching The Exorcist. <laughs> Lord Jesus, please. Let Jesus please, fuck you. Please, 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 God, don't let me get possessed. You're the one that throws that scary death mask on the TV, and we couldn't go upstairs. I'm I have never seen that movie. What? Watch never. it. It's great. <laughs> oh, no. classic. Oh, no. Okay. Do any of you remember me toting this around back in the day? That is new. For those in the listening audiences, I am holding up a little album called Sparks in Outer Space. Yeah. Uh, this was when I was a sophomore. And it had a bunch of nice dance music on it. Uh, I I would bring it to the church dances and we would listen to I Wish I Looked a Little Better. I wish I looked a little better. I remember dancing to it with uh, Cousin Wendy. Um, uh, I think, Jill, you... You were probably still uh, Michael Jackson. You, that wasn't the what I was listening to wasn't rubbing off on you. No, no, <laughs> I was devoted, to Michael. <laughs> Michael, but uh, a couple years later, uh, you know, I was into um, college rock, uh, jangle pop. Uh, REM, Let's Active, and and then you got attracted to some of that yeah. that I was listening to. So by the time 14, 15? 14, 15. We were you, doing Yeah, we Let's went, Active. we went to see Let's Active. Yes. Yeah. Duran Duran. Dur- D- I was the only guy. In, you you it, were the only guy. In, in the in- Oakland Coliseum. <laughs> You were. It was a great, I mean, a great thing for a guy to go to. Yeah. <laughs> and I was terrified because I watched you go down into the pit. I did. Yes, to save the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the life out of me. I thought you were going to die. <laughs> but we, saw, we saw Let's Active mm, in San Francisco. Club. Tiny little club. Uh the DBs opened, and I had, uh, you know, I wish I had the internet back then to know what rock legends they were. Exactly. Yeah. Um, did were you at the um, replacement show? No, um, I don't think so. Okay, this is. Uh, I, let me take a second here. So, um, I'm in. I, I'm a senior. We go to San Francisco. You know, we're all a bunch of high school kids. We go to we go to see the the replacements. Here's me with all of my Mormon Mormon um, friends. <laughs> we're all at the front of the stage, and uh, the, you know they're all to my left, and to my right is the singer for Romeo Void. Yeah, totally. 
totally like i was like hey i totally like your music might like you better if we slept together <laughs> i'm like i'm i'm like 17 i'm like hey how's it going so but but one of our friends had a curfew <laughs> so we're all checking our watches <laughs> on the front row <laughs> on the front row <laughs> This is uh, uh the guitarist. This is this is not too long after he OD'd and died. He came out in his pajamas and played, and so we're all I, I'm standing right in front of him, and we're all checking our watches, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, eleven fifteen, doop doop doop, we all we all march out. <laughs> Hey, I remember her father. He was scary when he said the curfew he said, is at twelve. Curfew is at twelve. Yes. You're gonna be back by twelve. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do we wrap this thing up? I don't know how. Let's talk about your birthday party. My birthday party. So for your birthday, we have the greatest presentation to share with the family. Yes. Dicking around t-shirts, everybody. Dicking yeah. around. Oh, I do now. Sponsored by <laughs> your mother. <laughs> I've been used. I want every single listener to take a look at the Dicking Around logo <laughs> and picture that on every single family member's chest <laughs> at a family reunion. <laughs> 31 total. 31 <laughs> family members <laughs> are wearing an erect penis. It's an arrow. Devin. It's an arrow. <laughs> it's an arrow. That's in a circle. It's an arrow that starts low, That's gets deep. a little higher, <laughs> and then it's at its peak. <laughs> so the only thing it's missing is a little bit of, I don't know, something coming out the tip. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma Bonnie. I, w- I had nothing to do with it. I was innocent. <laughs> I she got the person who paid for nice them all. For Ted for his birthday, and I went. I, I was taken. I was taken in. Marcy, I blame Marcy. It's not my fault. You didn't tell me. I'm Let me recap. My brother on his fiftieth. 31 people will be wearing wiener shirts at the family <laughs> reunion. We are wieners. <laughs> That's we what we are. We are the wieners. Those <laughs> my friends. friends. <laughs> we'll keep, keep on playing. I can't wait end. for that to come out. Coming out Can we do the story of Heather karaoke with Uncle Ted? <laughs> oh, that's a good story. Well, is it- you may. So... It was a week before my wedding, and <laughs> what's that face for? You look confused. I, I'm trying to remember. Well, you were very intoxicated. It's fair that you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a week before my wedding, and Ted says, hey, let's go karaoke to my mother. So it's me, my mother, Marcy and Ted at a dive karaoke bar. And Ted says, we have to do Britney Spears. <laughs> so it's me, 23? Yeah, 23-year-old Heather and Uncle Ted karaokeing. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> Britney I Spears. I did it again. <laughs> but the best, the best part was the intro that my Uncle Ted gave for me, which was, this is my niece. She's 13 years old. (laughs) In a bar. (laughs) It was great. And it was probably the best karaoke that bar had ever seen. You could still pass as a 13-year-old. God, I hope not. I'm almost 26. (laughs) I want to hear the song. Which one? Which one? I think I did, I did it again. I, I played your... Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we That's are not on scene. From the top. 
What's the top? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I played, played with, with your heart. heart. Got, Got lost in the game. Oh, oh baby, baby, baby. Oops, you oh, think I'm in love. Then I'm, I'm sent, sent from, from above. above. I'm not that innocent. innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for listening. Yeah. All I do is stick around. The sun goes up, the moon goes down. The leaves are green, the leaves are brown. And all I do is stick around. All I do is stick around. The sun goes up, the moon goes down. The leaves are green, the leaves are brown. And all I do is stick around. All I do is stick around. The sun goes up, the moon goes down. The leaves are green, the leaves are brown. And all I do is stick around. All I do is stick around. The sun goes up, the moon goes down. The leaves are green, the leaves are brown. And all I do is stick around. All I do is stick around. The sun goes up, the moon goes down. The leaves are green, the leaves are brown. And all I do is stick around. What you do, I'll dick around next to you But all I do now is stick around All I do now is stick around, dick around Breaker one niner Okay, when you guys talk, it's right in front of the mic Get right here Right in front Or you can adjust the so mic so middle, it's And I can just go like this you can adjust the mic so it's right in front of you. Looks, it looks like we made it. Looks like we made it. Which one? That song you're singing. Oh, that's Barry Manilow. That's Barry Manilow. Yes. Why did you sing that song? Because he was singing. It's a classic. Okay. Six twenty-eight. Hip hoppy. I just looked at this. Six twenty-eight. Yeah. So six twenty-six. Cool, 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 cool places tonight.